since the object is moving, since the train, the elevator is moving with constant velocity, there's no acceleration here of the elevator. And so the object, there's no acceleration of the object. The object has no acceleration. It's just the whole thing is moving with constant velocity. So the net force on the object must be zero. Now, for the net force to be zero, I have mg down, and I have the force exerted by the spring, which is up. It's equal to kx, where x is the extension of the string. Therefore, these two forces must be equal, and I have kx is equal to mg. This means that x is equal to mg over k. So m is 5 kilograms, and g is 9.8 meter per second squared, and k is 490 newtons per meter. So this gives 49 over 490, which is 0 0.1 meters. So the spring is extended by 0 0.1 meters. Now we're told that the elevator cable suddenly breaks and the elevator falls freely. What is now the, the in fact, I should say the equilibrium extension of the spring? If the elevator falls freely, To, let, us, let us first just consider an object or a, a person inside the elevator and the elevator is falling freely. So the elevator is falling down with acceleration g. Let's consider an object released by a person inside the elevator. The only force acting on the object is mg. So the acceleration of the object is g. So the object moves down with acceleration g. But everything inside the elevator is moving down with acceleration g, because the whole elevator is moving down with acceleration g. So this is moving down with acceleration g. But the floor of the elevator also is moving down with acceleration g. So the object appears to be motionless inside for a person inside the elevator. Or it will, have, it will appear to have no acceleration for a person inside the elevator. In terms of the fictitious force that we talked about, if the elevator is moving down with acceleration g, then we can think of a fictitious force, which is equal to minus ma. So it will be mg up acting on the object. So there will be a force mg up, a fictitious force mg up acting on the object, and then there's a force of gravity mg down acting on the object. So the net force acting on the object will be zero. And the object will be weightless. It will appear to be weightless. Coming back to our problem here, the elevator now is moving down freely, so it has acceleration g. Every object inside it also will have acceleration g. 
So, the object inside it will have acceleration g. And so the net force acting on the object will be mg down. So it will be mg down. That's the net force acting on the object now. So this means that that the spring will not exert any force on the object. Because if the spring exerts any force on the object, then the net force on the object will not be mg. It will be mg, and then there will be another force exerted by the spring. Since the acceleration of the object is g, and so the net force is mg, then there must be no force acting on the object. That is, the object is, appears to be weightless. If it's weightless, it will not extend, or it will not stretch the spring. So the equilibrium extension of the spring now will be zero, because an object inside an elevator, which is falling freely, if the elevator is falling freely, the object appears to be weightless. That is, for a person, for an observer inside the elevator, the object appears to be weightless. If a person inside the elevator stands on a scale and the elevator is falling freely, the scale will reach zero. because the person will have the person will be essentially or apparently weightless we can let us explain this issue i have an elevator i have a scale here and let me just put an object on this case. It could be just be a person or just any object. Now, the elevator is falling freely with acceleration g. This means that the person is moving down with acceleration g. What forces act on the person? There's mg down, and there's the normal force exerted by the scale. So the net force is mg down minus the normal force. This is equal to ma by Newton's law. But a is g because the elevator is falling down with acceleration g. So if I put for a g, what do I get for the normal force? Zero. This means that the person standing on the scale, for the person standing on the scale, the scale exerts zero normal force. If the scale exerts zero normal force, then the scale will read zero, because the scale reads the normal force it exerts. So a person standing on the scale in an elevator falling freely will be weightless in the sense that if this person stands on a scale, the scale will read zero. So same thing here. When the elevator is falling freely, every object inside, it, inside the elevator will have an apparent weight of zero, which means that it will not extend or it will not stretch a spring. So in equilibrium, the, the spring will not be stretched when the elevator is falling freely. Thank you for listening.